Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Doomed Rat's Nest. How are you? <laughs> My natural gas generator is somehow encased in carbon dioxide. So down here, I got this started. It's pumping out natural gas. I put in these deodorizers and yeah, my generator is um, entombed. Anyway, yeah, so we're pumping natural gas up here. This is gonna be hydrogen storage, but I need to work on food. My food numbers are coming down. My dupes are just eating the meat and I need to turn it into barbecue. So that is the goal. Get this built. Hopefully get some brine into it. Do that. Get some chlorine in there and uh, make it all happy. For powering the food cooling, I'm just gonna stick it off of my ride bolt power line because that's not doing much. And researchers, the researchers are cranking right along. I'll probably dump a little bit of water up here just to help keep that cool before I can turn it all into a vacuum. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit radioactive. Yeah, so far so good. The uh, suits are starting to catch up and how am I still getting damaged? Like I sat and watched this and no hydrogen comes through these and yet my suits are damaged. I don't understand. I even went and upped the pressure on these just to make sure that there's always oxygen down here. I don't know. One of these days I will find it. I really thought it was that hydrogen, but I haven't found that again. So we'll do a little bit of brine and then I can hopefully mop around it and get this moved up to where it should be. Well, that was useless. <laughs> this is how much brine they dumped. Uh, actually, that might work. That might work. Because I want to put two more tiles of aluminum in over here. Oh, and I need to get that down to chlorine. So yeah, let's do it like this. See if I can't force that blob over. Actually, I, I, I don't want that tile there. But I'll put a tile there to force everything over. Alright, will it work? Oh, come on, go to the next one. where I wanted that. Alright, we can now get rid of this. Oh, and to cool my plants, I'm running all the water from down below up into here. Which seems to work out great. So, let's sweep out all of this. We want tiles. In which direction is this going? That is... A lot comes in from the bottom. So I'm thinking I can put a little mini pump in there and pump all the gas out. Seems like a good plan. All right, now that that's in, I want a temp shift plate of granite to keep that from freezing. And then I can dump some bleach stone in there once it's uh, nice and in a vacuum. Oh, gas overlay. All right, that's working. This shipping rail needs to come all the way down into here. Yeah, we got lots of copper. Looks like I'm gonna need 
ladders. And that can pick up the meat. And we're getting there. Ooh, up here. Yeah, I need up the priority of the floor and the power. Yeah, looks like my second rocket platform is done, I think. I put this in the right place, we're about to find out. Oh, I made it too, too short. Oops. I was hoping to fit one more in there. That's fine. My goal is I want to have a giant rocket stack of batteries. How did you get out? Ooh, I, there's a question. I think I'm still using, yep, yeah, using all the reed fiber. But the plastic, we're up to eight tons. Once the glossy directors get going, they do not stop. All right, get you out of here. And you're almost down to a vacuum. And the dupe's got the power hooked up. We've got a floor. I can dump a little bit of water in there. And, yep, we've got the bridge put in, so we'll slowly fill this up with hydrogen. Next, we need grill, micro musher. No, I don't want that to be able to grab inside of there because I want it to dump stuff. There. That. Yeah, I should be able to deconstruct that wire. Perfect. Right now what I want is allow manual use. Consumable ore, bleach stone, out of nine. Someone should bring some bleach down. Maybe. And why is my pit farm does not having many pips in it? Alright, we're gonna have to wrangle all these other pips. That's probably why I'm low on meat. Alright. Do that, do that. And edible meat. Wrangle those guys. Yeah, these are set to a seven. We've even got a glossy Dreco. Not where it should be. Perfect. Now we've got chlor... Don't pick up the bleach stone I just told you guys to put in there. Oh wait, now you're just gonna drop it on the ground? That's fine, as long as that stays there for a bit. We need a lot more hydrogen. So because of that, we do this. Wait, that needs to be an output. If I do that, that will just keep going in a circle. Damn. I was hoping I could just hook these together. Actually, if I do this, I think I can do it. I'm gonna end up with a couple of tanks full of hydrogen, that's fine. No, because that's just gonna feed back into itself. If I do that, it will just go in a loop. Damn. All right, do it proper. Something like that.
And with that now filling up, we can now get a couple of generators built. Because that part's going to be important. too much power, right? If I'm trying to use a small wire. Yeah, because these are 800. 800 watts. Yeah, so I can't fit three. That's okay. Two should be enough to get everything going. So you need to be able to run your own pumps. And feed onto that. And you do that. Power. All right, let's get the dupes on this job. Well, it's not much water, but that should be enough to keep this cool for a long time. We're already down into the negatives, so this meat should become refrigerated. Perfect. Barbecue. Build that. It can pick up barbecue, and then my dupes will be in tasty food heaven. Where's the new critter? Look at this. What is a cuddle pet? Okay, apparently it's a pit that hugs things. Oh, we gotta make that. <laughs> I don't know what we do with the cuddle pit, but we are... Oh, this is why. I figured out why I don't have any pips in here. Because I wasn't putting any pip squeaks in when I got bored. Born, not bored. Alright, we'll pick up some more pips. In the meantime, we don't need any of these planters. We can get rid of the refrigerators. And let's watch. We had 25,000 calories of meat. And we'll see how much barbecue we get out of it. So we get rid of the meal wood. And now we just gotta increase our priority to get power into the battery stack. Get the carbon dioxide out of here. Where's my natural gas? Oh. Oh, that's kind of a short dormant cycle. Maybe I just didn't notice. It's probably been dormant for a little while. Okay. I was worried that I wasn't pumping any in, but I'm not supposed to be because it's not producing any. It would also be helpful if I, I don't know, turned these on. Sometimes. That's why I left the gen manual generator here. But we're definitely getting up to a critical mass of glossy Dracos and Dracos. Now I've cooked all the barbecue. Yay, a cuddle pit! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Can I put you in here? Yes. What do you eat? No, I can't click on you. Okay. Well, we want more power for those anyway. Very important, I need to go into consumables and tell my dupes to not eat meat. Nobody eat meat. Only eat barbecue. Oh, those are running. Perfect. You can go do something else. Over here. Yeah, so that will now 
fill that up, and now I can finally start making a power grid, which I desperately need. So this section first, because it's out of power. Not the cuddle pip is in here. I'm assuming you eat normal stuff. Oh, you eat thimble reed. That's new. Do all pips eat thimble reed? I had no idea. I had no idea that pips ate thimble reeds. Okay. Well, we now have a cuddle pip. Squeak. And our first bit of the power grid is done. Let's get all of that out of there. All right, this is gonna take a little bit, but I'm slowly gonna go get transformers in where I need them and get stuff powered up. Looks like we've got the food down to a deep freeze. Very nice, now we just need more of it. How many critter eggs are in here? Only 10 eggs right now, but there's quite a few up in here. And now that I can get rid of these, I can put in the hatch wrench because I'm going to need the coal. And that's going to go right here. That'll give me even more critter eggs and eggshells and everything else that I need. And not only did we find a new dupe, we found a new new dupe. Quinn! We actually need a rancher. How many beds do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we still got room for two more. You know what was bound to happen? Just build your head into the block you're building. Fun with dupes. Oh good, I was worried. I thought my hatch died, but he's over here. I thought the poke shell over here ate him. Good, now I just need to actually make a home for him. Well, that's handy. There's even some lead over here. Next to my uranium ore, I've got lead, so I can actually make lead suits if I wanted to. I don't think I have very much uranium ore. These are only 100 each. I thought that was a bit slight, but then I looked at it and it's uh, lead. Cool. And I don't believe there's any sedimentary rock around here. So I don't think I can make stone hatches easily. I'll just have to find them the natural way. And hatch hatchling. And you. Oh, I guess there has been some. Where are you? There you are. Eight. Someone come grab them. Thought you could hide in the dirt. I don't think so. going to be consumable or all the critter eggs. Meat. And he's in here. Sweet. And how old are you? 60? Wait for him to become unwild so he'll know what his chance of laying an egg are, but he'll lay at least one more. Oh, now that food is being created and stored, we'll put in some more generators and I can start to wire up this room. I don't know if I need two aqua tuners, but I might as well put them in there right now. And copper temp shift plates should be fine, or copper ore.
Yeah, this is turning into a good old proper base. And we'll have the dupes put in the uh, clay making oxygen system over here. We'll grab all the polluted oxygen, turn it into clean oxygen and clay. I was originally having it come out over here, but this is getting overpressurized. What's the water temp doing? All right, that's warmed up considerably. Might actually have to put in some temp shift plates just because the neutronium's not gonna do much. Good enough. And those things are just super effective. There's 34 kilograms of oxygen pressed into there. And not for much longer. So I'm waiting for a hatchling egg to come out of there and fill that up with hatchlings. These are all run off a of coal generator, so I need to start getting dupes off of the wheels. So that's going to be this one right here. Just missed it. I was just clicking on my hatch to see when it would lay the next egg, and there it is. Like, I clicked on just as that said 100%, and poof. Oh, where did my cuddle pip go? I think my cuddle pip died. I think it got tossed in here, and that was the end of it. Well, let's hope for another cuddle pip egg. <laughs> Alright, so we need a bit more copper. Alright, these I'm just gonna get rid of. They're not doing anything. And we're gonna need a rock crusher over here, as well as metal refineries and everything else. Power is sorted. What? The closing refashionator. And the textile loom. What do these do? Okay, so you take got all sorts of fun stuff to build now. So these all take a snazzy suit and a whole lot of reed fiber. Well, let's get to making some snazzy suits. How are we on reed fiber? Solid nuclear waste. That's probably not a good thing. Zero. <laughs> we aren't quite keeping up with the uh, worn out no suits yet. But we're getting there. On to the next fun project. I need to get coolant into my metal refineries. And I think I can do melted plastic temp shift plates to do it. That's gonna be the goal. All right. This is the general idea. We've got four Tim Shift plates of plastic going in, a tepidizer on a timing sensor, and then I'm gonna dump some of the naphtha up here for my liquid lock. So I should be able to get 800 each into those. I'm assuming a naphtha tile is only, is a thousand. 
I'm gonna have to raise the walls on this a little bit just to make sure I don't overflow. Yeah, let's just be safe. We'll get those in there. Make sure the dupe gets out and then we can start setting you to in one. to get to. Come on. 160. No problem. This is a nice steel tepidizer. And we got like 120 degrees to go. I did come in here and insulate this to try to keep the heat in. And we're almost there. I think like another 10 degrees. Meantime, my dukes are just building away. Try to get some more of that done. And we've got more hatches. See, another couple minutes of this ticking away and I should be able to melt these. It is turning into a horror show up here. All of these puffs like to hang out by the thing shooting radioactive bolts. <laughs> they just keep getting hit. Well, there'll be some nice irradiated food for the dupes. There it goes. Okay, so now we need you turn off. And I'm not sure if this is going to explode. There's a bunch of oxygen in there, so let's come back in from the top. Because I want to get a pump in there. You deconstruct. Timer sensor. Deconstruct. Now I can come in with a pump the right way. Need to escape a little bit. All right, so let's put a tile there. Try to force that back over. this. I don't need to build that at all. There we go. Automation wire. Now if I hook the pump in like that, it should evenly split. Oh, no, that needs to be made out of steel because this is very, very hot stuff. And that's going to boil my water. Son of a... Ah, more water in there, then this will work. Ah, and we're pumping. And we're splitting all nice and evenly. Okay, good. It's not immediately boiling the water. Okay, well, yeah, I'm over time. Thank you all very much for watching. We are up to industrial brickness. I just gotta, you know, pump all the air out, all that kind of boring stuff, and then I can get into some proper energy recycling. I hope you all just have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.